Now, a new report highlights a range of shortcomings in the Bachelor of Laws program taught at 17 universities in the country. The Council on Higher Education report found many universities don't equip their law students with sufficient critical thinking skills. It is recommended that extensive changes be brought to LLB tuition. Uh, for some insight, we're joined via Skype by University South Africa CEO Professor Ahmed Bawa. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Do you agree with this report and just how bad is the quality of this LLB degree at the 17 named universities? Thank you. Thank you, Marcelo. Uh, look, uh, you know, the, the, the Council of Higher Education has a statutory function of um, regularly working with the universities in assessing the quality of their programs and so on. Uh, university programs are, uh, professional university programs are accredited on a, a trilaterally, if you like. I mean, it's the universities themselves, their senates, uh, then there's the Council on Higher Education, uh, and then there's the professional body. Mm. And uh, so the LL, it was the turn of the LLBs, if you like, in 2017 uh, to be assessed as uh, as uh, you know, as academic programs, um, and indeed the uh, findings were that there were some shortcomings, and uh, these shortcomings were uh, were kind of then referred back to the universities, and together, uh, you know, in a partnership between the CHE and the universities, uh, all 17 universities have now uh, gone through the process, and the legal programs are back uh, kind of on track, if you like. Now, according to the report, um, uh, they pointed to uh, issues like subpar writing and research skills that were extremely lacking um, from uh, law graduates going into the employ of various, in various uh, um, uh, positions in the legal world. Now, one would assume that in most uh, uh, degrees that you take at university, those two aspects would be key, but especially to practice law, one would think that being able to write and and being able to do um, proper research would be of all importance. Were, were you shocked by that finding? No, I think that, you know, th th there's been a general kind of uh, concern about the fact that, uh, you know, school leavers that were coming to universities uh, were coming there with, uh, coming to universities with writing skills and so on that were not quite at par what, with what was required. Uh, and of course, then, there's the whole idea of like catch up, if you like, you know, trying to understand how to make sure that while the students are at university, that those skills are enhanced. Uh, so clearly, communication skills, writing skills, and uh, thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, the uh, the the idea of critical skills uh, were were picked up as being important. Now, you know, one might say, well, uh, how come this wasn't picked up by the universities themselves? Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, they are, in fact, picked up by the universities. But um, you know, in this collaboration between the CHE and the universities, uh, kind of attempts are now being made to try and understand how to uh, design programs mm. so that these shortfalls uh, are being. Uh, are being addressed, if you like. Now, if we look uh, at so, if we look at solutions, um, uh, one of the solutions uh, put forward is that this degree gets extended from being a four-year course to five years. Do you think that will help matters? Well, you know, I, I think a, lo a lot depends on kind of the way in which uh, those programs are designed, right? So, uh, you, you know, you could, for example, the traditional qualification was the LLB, sorry, the BA with the LLB, if you like. You know, the, mm -hmm. those were. Uh, programs in which students had a very thorough grounding in a bachelor's degree, mm. and then with the LLB built on top of it. Uh, now there's a uh, there's a kind of a suggestion that we should think about five-year qualifications, which would be an undergraduate uh, LLB program. But the idea being that that would provide the universities with a longer period of time uh, in getting the students to think critically in the legal terrain, if you like. Mm. So. Um, now, there's some debate about this because, uh, you know, many universities would argue that the BA LLB provides the students with a sound academic uh, and intellectual background on which to build uh, the legal, uh, the legal kind of enterprise, if you like. Uh, whereas, you know, the idea of a five-year LLB undergraduate program is much more kind of uh, um, articulated around the law profession from the outset. So it's a debate, really. And I'm sure it's a debate that will rage on for some time. Uh, University South Africa CEO Professor Ahmed Bawa, thank you so much uh, for your insight this afternoon.